Hi Money Makers, welcome back to my channel. So as you saw last week, we sliced the file to the no face mask and this week we're printing it. We've had a little bit of problems with the actual print itself as <clears throat> it was very stringy and there's a massive split in one of the prints. Also there's been some adhesion problems to the bed so they keep curling up and when we went to bed last night everything was fine so I don't really know what happened but something must have slightly changed but hopefully it's salvageable and today my dad's going to try and fix it if possible. So here is what would have been the brim but unfortunately it's kind of lots of different individual uh, p bits of PLA um, which is quite annoying and it's really stringy this print. So we've got the mouth part and then the right eye and the left eye as well and as you can see they really don't fit together because there was so much warping on on the bed at the very beginning so the first layer must have just been quite poor and it's just very hard to align and there's also a big crack in the left eye um yeah which is very annoying. Try and line up on the inside, and there we go, it fits perfectly except from the outside. Uh, going to try and get a soldering iron and basically melt the bits of plastic on either side, try and basically melt them together, and then when they like kind of dry, they will go back together. Um, but of course, because there's so much warping, we're going to actually have to use part of the roll of filament to supplement for that gap. So let's hope it works, because this is our first time doing it. So it's a bit of a learning curve, never done it before. And, you know, let's hope that it works out well. This really reminds me of stitching. you've got to stitch the two parts together so it worked reasonably well but you just got to carry on doing it keep at it and hopefully it will work a little bit better this time um because we didn't get it quite right first time but i think it worked reasonably well for the first try with these types of things you've just got to keep at it really and it worked we got to the very end and you know it worked it worked well as well but you can clearly see why I wasn't allowed to do this because you can see the smoke coming off the soldering iron so there is no way I'd be able to be able, I'd be able to do this <laughs> it worked it works very very well for our first time and just as a little reminder guys 
if you are a child, don't forget you probably should be doing this on your own because it's very, very, very hot. You can easily slip and burn yourself. So we slipped just under the mouth and there's, as you can see, like a um, raised area there where we accidentally slipped and hit it with the, the soldering iron. But overall, it worked pretty well and we're just going to fill in the gaps with car body filler and just sand that out with a power sander and I'm very happy with the result we got I think it looks really good so now it's been sanded with the power sander we've got most of it it's still a little bit raised where we've um, put the soldering iron on it but it worked pretty well. It's much more smooth. And there's an odd line down the middle that I'm not quite sure what it is. There you go. And we think it might be where the printer had a little bit of a problem or it's where the actual um, end of the section was. But we realised it can't be because it, otherwise it would cut off part of the mouth, which is very strange. Yeah, it's very odd, um, but it's pretty. I'm pretty happy we managed to salvage it this much because it was pretty dodgy to begin with. So all of the gaps have been now filled in with PLA and a soldering iron, and some of it's been filled with car body filler. It's been sanded twice as well, and this is the result so far. But now we're going to put the resin on it and leave it in the sun to dry. We're going to put the resin on in the garage because there's no, v no UV in here. And then when we take it outside, we'll leave it in the sun to dry, and it just makes a nice smooth coat. And we'll probably do two coats of resin today. Safety first. So now this has had two coats of resin and been left in the sun to dry and it's worked pretty well. We've Each time we've given it a quick, poured some of this onto a tissue and just wiped it over because apparently there's like a layer on top of the resin that never properly dries. Let the motorcycle go past. Um, but so it's a little bit sticky for some reason, but let's hope it just works out. But now I'm gonna power sand it. Okay. 
So we've managed to save this print and <clears throat> it would have usually gone in the bin. So I'm really happy that we managed to save it. And it's kind of just goes to show that even if you think something isn't, isn't salvageable and you can't fix it, it's always worth a shot. So this, this didn't even take that much more effort than it would in normal print. Just had to do a little bit of extra like the PLA and soldering, that's all we had to do and it worked out like a normal print even though it was pretty rubbish to begin with. Don't forget guys, I upload new videos every weekend and if you like this video then maybe you'll like videos that are coming in the future and don't forget this is part two out of three of our No Face series and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.